Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do my edges. I've been getting a lot of requests to do an updated version of my edge tutorial that I did about a year ago. So we are finally here. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I'm gonna start off by pulling my locks into a ponytail so they're out of the way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place my satin scarf on now. So that way it's easy for me to just kind of push it forward once I'm all done with my edges. I'm gonna use my little toothbrush to style my edges. Please don't mind it, it's a little dirty. Probably should have cleaned it before I did this, but I wasn't thinking about it. I just kinda like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this tutorial. It just kinda happened out of the blue that I decided to film it, so I didn't think to like wash my brush before I filmed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start styling my first swoop using my edge control. The edge control that I'm using today is Eben's 24 hour edge tamer. So I'm going in with my edge control first and then adding the gel on top for the extra hold. Next up is the Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel, and I'm gonna run that right over my swoop there using my brush. Then I like to go in with my rat tail comb and use the end to do some extra styling, make sure everything is nice and smooth and there's no hairs out of place. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the second one following the same process. I'm using my uh, middle finger to kind of press the hairs down and give it like that super smooth looking effect. For the second swoop, I like to grab a little hair from the first one and just kind of push it down into the second one, if that makes sense. So it has like a little bit of an S curve. For the sideburns, I kind of use the same technique. I swoop it kind of out towards my face and then bring it back in. The only difference is that I have a little curl at the end. So I use my brush to kind of start forming the curl and then I go in with my little rat tail to kind of pull any hairs into the curls, just in case there's like little hairs that are like sticking out or it's not laying completely flat. It's easier to style that part with the rat tail comb because it's such like a precise style and everything. Then once I'm done styling that portion, I'm gonna go back into the swoop that we have right above the sideburn and grab some hair from there and push it into the swoop below it so we have another S wave there. So that's pretty much how I style the left side. I'm gonna show you guys how I style the right now. I'm gonna start off by using my comb again to push all the hairs that I wanna style forward. If you need to, you can also use the end of the comb to pull any hairs back if you feel like you're styling too much hair. So I'm gonna start working on the first swoop on the right side. At this point, I'm just making sure that it's the same size as the swoop on the left side so everything is nice and symmetrical. After I do my first swoop, I create a little tiny curl right underneath it, and then I move on to that S wave right next to it. The next wave is also a little different than the left side. This one also has a little curl at the bottom, just like I did by sideburn. So once I'm done creating the wave, I'm gonna start molding that little loop at the end. Thank you. 
If you feel like your loop isn't forming really smoothly, you can also add a little bit of gel to the ends of the loop so that way it kind of clumps together. It's also going to make it much easier for the loop to stick to your skin. And again, I'm going in with my rat tail comb because it's such a small curl there. So the end of the comb is just going to make it that much easier for me to get the curl that I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my second sideburn. This one is basically going around the curl that we just created right above it. I'm using my brush again to style it first and I'm just gonna create the same curl that I did with the other side. So now that the right and the left side are done, all you have left to do is the top where the widow's peak is and that's the easiest part. Basically, you just wanna take some hair from the top of your hairline and just kind of drag it into like another swoop, curve it and then bring it back into the first swoop that you have right underneath it. And that's pretty much it guys. All I do after that is move my satin scarf right over my edges so that way they can dry underneath while I'm doing my makeup. That's why you guys always see this little head scarf in all of my makeup tutorials. It's because my edges are kind of like drying underneath it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully all of it made sense. I feel like I was struggling, like seriously struggling to explain like what I was trying to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it helps you in some way. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in my next video.